Learning is a process where knowledge is presented to us, then shaped through understanding, discussion, and reflection. A very good afternoon to one and all present here. I, Pooja Singh from IPN Network, feel privileged to extend our warm welcome to each one of you for joining the IPN Confluence Navigating the Uncharted 2023. Let me start by giving you a brief introduction about IPN Foundation, that is Indian Principles Network. IPN Foundation, a hub which encompasses Indian Principal Network and IPN Global, a community of school leaders that spreads across the globe, all headed to centralized strategic global and regional collaborations and exchange knowledge. IPN India was established in the year 2016 and has been closely working over with 10,000 plus school leaders across India. And let me share you some of our learnings over the past 18 odd months which will have a larger relevance in today's discussion. And I will also outline what we intend to do from today so that there is a right context and we make sure that we value the time which we have invested here today. <coughs> uh, 18 month of our process was actually we went out around 27 cities of our nation uh, where we took a dipstick on the status of NEP implementation. And I will only sum up it in three broad observations how the nation thinks about it. Not just, as I said, it is immaterial what is happening in Jammu and Kashmir or what is happening in Tamil Nadu or Karnataka, but how the nation thinks about it, which is an educator through whose eye every kid sees this world. I now request to call upon our esteemed panelists from Sri Nagar. I'm Dua, um, Secretary Life Foundation. So the panel discussion has started and the topic of discussion is um, how I see technology, what's my perspective on that. I believe um, nowadays as we see many AI tools are coming up in our day to day lives um, and if we see on a bigger scale it's <clears throat> somewhere affecting the human resource we have. It's a very good question. But let me tell you, let's go back into history. There was an industrial revolution once upon a time. And these very questions were posed then. What is going to happen to the society? What's going to happen to the employment? What's going to happen to the people? But then it took its own turn. Today, uh, what you're talking about, the new technology, it's going through the roof. It's nothing, I mean, Again, to give you an example, the, I think the time period between a printing press and the telephone was 150 years. Uh, today, in 10 years, you know what has happened. I mean, everybody has, whether he does own a phone or doesn't own a phone or does not have the means, I think they will gradually do it. So I'm quite confident that what you have uh, observed, I don't think it's going to be that bad. I'm sure it's going to improve. I think uh, fundamentally all educators, policy makers or owners, you need to assess yourself, where are you at this point in time? What is the current reality? Current realities are not anyway. If I do the digital audit of your schools, I will have quite a revelation that you are even at infancy of technology. Well said, well said. Therefore, there should be no anxiety. If you understand the evolution of technology and the impact, it's mind-boggling. But the problem is twofold. In this world today, there are two things which you have to keep always in mind. It's a very unkind world we live in. Yet, it's a world of abundance. If you are ready to disrupt the environment, then you will survive and progress. If you are disrupted, you will be out of the race. That's an audit for schools to look at. Once I joined over here, my SDP was approved by Dr. Vasil only, fortunately. And uh, the audit was curtailed by integration of technology. And I was asked, what is this integration of technology? And my question was, my answer was the road map. See, as an educator, as a teacher, as a principal, or you know, as an administrator, till you will not have a roadmap 
for short run and a long run goals, no school can win and achieve the goals. Here in Kashmir, as Sir said, we're curtain. कि भाई हमको जो हम कर रहे हैं, we you know there's a another thing कि we are Facebook achievers over here, everything works here on Facebook, nothing on reality actually. Followers are there. So what exactly I believe in that technology has a it's a variable now. We cannot get rid of it. Technology doesn't mean only the smart board or you know the T smart TV, which in Kashmir unfortunately people pop up. No, it's an engaged model. It's an it's a total engaged model until the school assessment quality assessment is not there. Starting from the administration till the academics, no school can achieve the zeal and the zest. If I have to share my opinion about it, I think uh, the wake up call for us all was COVID nineteen when technology as an institution we spoke about. So uh, prior to that, it was only you know maybe the smart boards or the ERPs in place or, you know, uh, getting our students introduced to computers and things like that. But actually when the COVID hit us, we got down to the fact that, you know, we have to start with teaching online. So uh, I think prior to this, if 10 years back we would have ever thought that, you know, the classroom is going to be taken home, probably it would have been an unimaginable belief. But COVID made it possible. So we all as educators, we all as teachers, we all as even parents understood the fact as to how we had to struggle initially. As Darsab rightly said, you know, every, every individual is, has to be technically uh, savvy, has to be technically, you know, sound. That it is very important to share the ideas set together, what practices we are doing in our places that should be shared by other people also. Because as sir, you were asking, so many new things are there which are coming, taking place in the societies which are running the schools. Whether I'll talk about AWS, which is running army schools and DAV or DPS, they all have uh, wonderful experience, very new things. When I, whenever I talk to my peer principals out of the station who are not here, in normal talk, uh, we came to know about so many new things. Now, uh, I want to just uh, give a light on educational technology. Because here two things are there. We are sitting here for the technology in education. What education from the past, I would say from ancient time, technology, education was only and only uh, given to students through technology only. No, no, new, new things which are coming in the artificial intelligence, another aspect of technology. People are not uh, you know, in touch uh, with the world, what is happening around. So that is the core thing, sir, where I want to put... No, no, thank you, thank you for... Before I begin, I have a couple of questions. How many of us here um, not from the education industry? Anyone here who's from outside of the education field? Anyone here, uh, you know, who's uh, representing or has been part of anything other than the educational organizations, etc. We're all from education? Yes. Okay. Yes. How many of us um, hold multiple hats? <laughs> Apart from the fact that we are educators primarily, how many of us here hold multiple hats? You could be heads of institutions, you could be administrative heads, you could be anything else. Anything else? Show of hands. It's about about twenty percent. About twenty percent. Would that be okay? Okay, fair enough. Lastly, um, how many of us have been in the education system for fifteen plus years? All right, I'll rephrase: twenty plus years. Okay, uh, ten to twenty. Okay. 0 to 10? And the others who haven't raised their hands? 35 plus. <laughs> Lastly, um, uh, about uh, 70, 70 odd people here. Uh, has anyone actually, um, have I addressed anyone before? Has Have we met before? We've never met before? Lovely. Then I'm safe. I can repeat my jokes. 
<laughs> Great. Um, uh, I will quickly invite my panelists, which are my second panelists. I tell you, a teacher is a teacher all the time. With artificial intelligence, minus artificial intelligence, we will never, never be able to replace a teacher there. Now, coming back to this artificial intelligence, let me start it. The beauty of artificial intelligence, I'm talking of artificial intelligence is a larger perspective, not that you're talking of uh, chat GPT-4 version or you're talking of the chat Google bar coming up now in a couple of days. My take down the, uh, looking forward for five years or 10 years, can you imagine that you will have a school in a virtual world? Can you imagine at this point of time? My take is that in near future, very near future, uh, Metaverse is coming on that. You will have a shop there in Metaverse, you will have a university in Metaverse, you will have a school in Metaverse. I would like to start with an example that how good it would be to close your eyes on seeing a loin in the room. I think that would be very foolish on our part to assume that the loin would disappear on closing our eyes, isn't it? So technology has been an integral part of our system and uh, particularly uh, right from COVID-19, it has taken a huge leap from being uh, unthinkable to thinkable. And nowadays what I feel is that it has been one of the exclusive modes of teaching in so many institutes. Yes, there is a difference. Uh, from what we have been thinking down the line maybe a decade ago, ago and presently. If I talk of uh, the present scenario, yes, the role of the teachers has changed by large because they have to take technology hand in hand, make it under understand to the students. That is the basic difference, you know, uh, in taking up the education by pen and paper mode or a textbook mode to the technology mode. I don't think so. There is the left answer anything as Farooq Sab has explained it. I cannot explain it more than that. So I have written something on the computer time because all of my sisters here, school leaders are be watching there. Exactly. That's so I'm seeing that. That, that's that, sir. So I have written some lines for the teachers. The role of teachers in technology-driven learning has expanded to encompass a broader range of skills and responsibilities while continue to be mentors, motivators, and knowledge experts. So that goes straight to our teachers <coughs> as I will be to also for myself as leaders, how they run it. So this time I'm enjoying, I'm celebrating technology. If you have to say the Kashmir has got the fertile brain, yeah. the most fertile brain on earth. Yes. I'm saying earth, I'm not saying India. But we need to trust. I'm an outsider to Kashmir. Still I trust my teachers. Yes, day before yesterday, after a year, I got one faculty from outside. He's not a superhero. He's a human being, normal human being. Then I called the parents. I said, look, I've got a teacher from outside. What change he's going to bring? He's just a teacher. You have a wonderful teacher over here. And you're not trusting them, even the parents. I'm fighting with a different mindset. Right? Getting technology, getting all sorts of, you know, these are big words. Basics are not there. Uh, so, today's program we are doing in Srinagar is the Indian Principles Network, which is in the IPN Foundation. We are doing the national-wide technology, which is in the schools. We are doing the foundation of the foundation. We are doing the fourth center in Srinagar, which we are doing in the whole country. 
20 मेजर सेंटर्स हो पे या बीच मेजर शहरों में करना चाहते हैं जहाँ पर हम एक नेशनल व्यू लेना चाहते हैं कि एजुकेटर्स जो हैं वो टेक्नोलॉजी का रोल कैसे चेंजेस के तौर पे या कैसे स्कूल्स में आते हुए हम देख रहे हैं और इसका क्या क्या इम्पैक्ट हमारे स्कूलिंग में व्यवस्थाओं में हो रहा है तो ये जानना बहुत ज़रूरी है कि हम समझें स्कूलों से कि वो कैसे इस चीज़ को लेते हैं या फिर उसका इम्पैक्ट क्या हो रहा है तो उसके ही संबंधित ये प्रोग्राम आशी नगर में आई पी एन इंडियन प्रिंसिपल नेटवर्क के प्रावधान में हम लोग कर रहे हैं तो करीबन आई थिंक हमारे पूरे प्रोग्राम में करीबन सौ से ज़्यादा स्कूलों ने रजिस्टर किया था और आज करीबन अस्सी से नब्बे स्कूल शिरकत कर रहे हैं इस प्रोग्राम के अंदर आई थिंक सारी वैली से कश्मीर के रीजन आस पास बारामूला और सभी जगह से एजुकेटर्स आए हैं तो वाइड सक्सेस है और ये स्टार्ट है क्योंकि प्रोग्राम की इनके ऐसे हमारे प्रोग्राम्स को यहाँ करने के लिए तो उसको ध्यान में रखते हुए और पहली बार हम लोग क्योंकि ऐसे प्रोग्राम को यहाँ कर रहे हैं तो मैं बहुत शुक्रगुजार हूँ सारे एजुकेटर फर्टर्निटी का और मिस्टर वार का स्पेशली जिन्होंने हमारे को उस पूरे प्रोग्राम में बहुत सपोर्ट दिया और उनकी गाइडेंस में हम इस प्रोग्राम को आज यहाँ ऑर्गेनाइज कर पा रहे हैं सक्सेसफुली हमारा सिर्फ बहुत सिंपल एक उद्देश्य है कि हम पूरे एशिया साउथ ईस्ट एशिया में एजुकेटर्स को कनेक्ट कर रहे हैं जहाँ हम चाहते हैं कि हम टीचरों को स्कूल लीडरों को ट्रेन करें उनको एक बेहतर वर्जन बनाएं अपना और उसी उद्देश्य को लेते हुए हम ऑनलाइन ऑफलाइन डिलीब्रेशन रेगुलरली करते रहते हैं तो आई पी एन इंडियन प्रिंसिपल नेटवर्क का यही कोर उद्देश्य है और उस पर हम सभी सपोर्ट के साथ आगे बढ़ते रहेंगे और ऐसे प्रोग्राम रेगुलरली ऑर्गेनाइज करते रहेंगे गौरव हैजिन डूइंग यू नो इनक्रेडिबल जॉब अक्रॉस द इंडिया और ये आज का नहीं है काफ़ी पुराना वेंचर है इन्होंने कई मंथन करी है एन को लेकर और मैं काफ़ी सालों से जुड़ी हुई भी हूँ यहाँ पे आना खुद ही में एक बहुत अच्छी चीज़ है हम सब लोगों के लिए बिकॉज ह्यूमन रिसोर्स अवेलेबिलिटी होने के बाद एक उनकी ट्रेनिंग इज़ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग जिसकी अवेयरनेस यहाँ पे शायद ही बहुत कम है और ये गौरव का एक बहुत अच्छा स्टेप है और इससे ना कि एक टेक्नोलॉजी इंटीग्रेट करना ही नहीं है हाउ टू यू नो ट्रेन द टीचर टू एनेबल दैट टेक्नोलॉजी इन साइड द क्लासरूम इज़ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग विच एक्चुअली आई थिंक ऑल एजुकेटर्स एक्चुअली यू नो हैड अ विजन ओवर इट एंड आई बिलीव दैट द मिशन इज़ वेरी क्लियर मिशन इज जस्ट टू इनकाल्कुलेट द एजुकेशन इलाबरेट द थिंग्स extract the dynamic dynamism and uh, plus extract the problems prospects and the future strategies of education